So here it is guys, my very first top 5 anime video, been wanting to do this for a few years now, but it's finally here trying to get at least my first video done. It's not going to be perfect, but I just want to put it out there. Um, and so with that, let's jump right into it. So my top 5 is more than likely going to be uh, probably similar to, to many others in the anime community. I, I talk, I've talked about this a few times on other videos and definitely on live streams where for me, anime wise, my very first uh, encounter to anime for me was Ronin Warriors, AKA Samurai Troopers. Um, that came out in the late nineties for me as a, as a uh, teenager uh, back, way back when. And, you know, seeing, you know, seeing the Ronin Warriors, seeing Ryo and crew, you know, doing their thing, you know, transforming into their armor and stuff like that, you know, doing the whole Dao Chi, you know, all of that stuff. Right. And then, of course, like, you know, and then, you you know, how how could you not enjoy and love, you know, the 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 armor and inc including the poses? When I think about this, guys, for me, speaking to per person for me, you know, before there was Ginyu Force, yes, that specific Ginyu Force, there were these poses by the ronin warrior uh, uh members of the crew right um but you know again like i said ronin warriors for me was the was my introduction to uh anime i know many uh, probably more than likely some of you were introduced to anime uh back in the 90s whether it was early 90s mid 90s um maybe even prior to that uh, even if you're around my age, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, disclose my age, but um, you know, some of you may have come across Dragon Ball uh, back in the day and other anime, you know, Fist of the North and stuff like that. So, you know, for me, uh, like I said, Running Warriors was my original uh, intro to the anime world, and then came Dragon Ball Z. This is yes, this is what I uh, got even more hooked on to anime way back when, you know back in the early 2000s yes it took me a few years to uh pick another anime back up just because for me i was more so just going outside and playing with friends it really wasn't inside when i was i was playing video games most of the time so that's pretty much even up to this point in my life uh where i still play video games seven days a week that you know here dragon ball z i didn't i didn't i did not uh come into contact with dragon ball until several years later i want to say late 2000 so yes you know i i am you know a late bloomer when it comes to to anime if you if you've been here with my channel when i started doing anime reactions uh several years ago or excuse me a few years ago uh, roughly five years ago you know you all st saw me starting to get into other anime that uh came on either in the early 2000s maybe late 90s that you were recommending to me that i didn't know existed at the time because like i said i wasn't really watching tv when i was when i was a child i was watching you know looney tunes and 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 then again you know cartoon network years later you know that's what i was tuning into a lot i, I did watch some toonami but it wasn't it wasn't like the key stuff so yeah again for me dragon ball z uh per with the connection to toonami is where I uh, originally got uh, in, engulfed into anime a little bit more. And then with that, when I started getting the DVDs, I had the actual phone number to Funimation, their offices, and I would call them asking them to, you know, to, to ship me the Dragon Ball Z DVDs. I still have some, some of them here. Uh, others got lost in translation here at my home. But, uh, you know, with that, we, I also started to see these advertisements for these other two uh anime here um and that is uh bleach uh bleach was being advertised on one of the discs of dragon ball z at the time it stood out to me on that advertisement um and i was watching that and then eventually i ended up again calling funimation up ordering the bleach dvd seasons they came to my home i would pop them into my dvd player start playing them sometimes even put them in my playstation yes playstation not ps2 ps1 um but no 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 sorry not ps3 ps2 um and that's when they started advertising for yes naruto so my top three would would be uh dragon ball z uh bleach and then naruto for this top five list i know that you're probably sitting there saying well why isn't ronin warriors in the your top five list even like the first three uh you know there's a reason for that is because you know they're like yes nostalgia wise for me 
Rona Wars is a really fun anime, but the Shonen Jump animes were what stood out to me a lot. You know, we have here, we have one of the, again, as always, one of the greatest uh, uh, fighting characters in the history of anime and Goku here. You know, his introduction, you know, his, his come up in Dragon Ball Z, um, you know, his, his uh, you know, the family oriented thing that he that he created with Krillin and crew and, and then eventually Piccolo, Piccolo taking on Gohan, you know, all of this stuff. And with that, then we we I would dive into, you know, Bleach, where we have Ichigo, you know, yes, he he uh, ultimately is trying to save Rukia in those early seat in those early episodes, the early seat, the first season roughly we want to say second season two uh and you know my love for this character and, and and just the you know just the bleach world itself what they were doing you know what ichigo and chad and crew were doing to go out there you know with rukia and them, i mean with um or and them just to go out there and try to save rukia it was just one of those things like you know I, that that i continue to watch you know dragon ball z episodes here and there i continue to watch bleach episodes here and there um i i still watch a little bit of naruto and that's the thing naruto uh because bleach was being what well, it was being advertised on the dvds for, for on bleach's dvd sets that i started to watch naruto and that kid really drew me in on his passion to become you know one of the you know the next hokage you know of course we we can sit here and mention one of the worst hokages ever the one that you know of course as we know you know was supposed to protect and guard this kid and you know give him a better life than, than what he currently had but he kind of just like sat him in this little cubby hole of an apartment building by himself he's just a kid by the way mind you you know no no adult supervision while he's there at this house you know who knows what could go wrong while naruto was living by himself right but you know ultimately with that too you know of course it it all bundles down for me as a fan of the show that you know it's naruto versus sasuke in the the original sh anime show right you know of course their their ultimate battle that they had you know at and in the show before they split apart and then you know people were waiting for what was to come next um and then of course we got shippuden um here which i'm still watching shippuden it's taken me it's taken me longer to watch shippuden just because i'm watching other anime as you see here on the channel on my channel i'm watching various and various things i'm adding new stuff to my to my list of what watched uh anime all the time but you know not so shippuden I'll, I'll eventually pick up the episodes again here and there watch a few put it back down and then pick it back that's that's kind of been my thing over the past few years with with uh shippuden uh but you know with that being said you know one of my all-time favorite characters is my homie tendo pain yes that's how i that's how i pronounce his name tendo pain you know we have his character he literally has one of the greatest entry intros introductions to the show and you know his attack on the the hidden leaf village is still to me my own personal opinion one of the greatest attacks on a on a village or a city or a town in anime history for what he did and what he brought to the table alongside his uh alongside his uh colleagues um here and you know with that you know we see him have you know one of the dopest intros and one of the best ways of how he fought and stuff like that and of course we i can't go uh by without talking about and even mentioning one of the greatest fights ever and that is kakashi versus tendo pain yes this fight right here this specifically this one right here not any other but this one right here yes i'm even bypassing over the, the naruto fight but it's this one right here but um but yeah uh, but yeah, those are the, my top three, right? My, those are my top three. What's number four and what's number five? It's gonna might come a bit, bit of an interest to you. Might be a little bit shocking. I know, like I said, some of you may not uh, agree, you know, with some. Well, well, actually, I'm saying it here, but but some of you may not agree with my my top three, and some of you may not agree with my top five. But again, this is for me specifically, personally. You know, you have your own top five list. But s number four, it is Code Geass. Yes my homie lelouch kogios is one of the greatest and and that's the thing it's it's one of the it's it's literally one of the shortest anime out there it's only two seasons but it's one of the greatest two seasons one of the greatest what 48 49 50 episode episodic uh show out there ever 
created in anime history you know we of course we know that lelouch is trying to basically he, he gains this gyas power from c2 he goes out here and he turns himself in, into zero uh which he tries to be a hero Ram, yes i'm rhyming accidentally but he goes out here trying to save his homie sasuke but in the midst of all of that he has to deal with all this other stuff on top of his family issues and stuff like that and his own personal stuff that he has to deal with his with it with his father you know with pops you know all of this stuff but again i still watch this these episodes here and there you know almost uh every almost what what like three four three or four months in a year i sit down and i watch some of these episodes um so you know the stuff that i'm talking about here i'm still gonna be bringing up some videos on code geos i know I've, i was i was doing some review videos for code geos live streaming and stuff but i haven't forgotten about the, that stuff per this anime but we are going to dive more into code geos moving forward but again it's just one of the greatest animes in my life that i wish i would i had watched when it first debuted but thank you to those of you who recommended this anime to me uh a few years ago when i first sat down to watch it i immediately got hooked off the like the first two episodes and it was just it was just gun hole from there and now for the coup de gras the final top five currently again this this is currently right my top five you know because i i definitely have talked about this in past videos and in, in past live streams is that my top three that list never changes that's because that's just what for me personally that is what my my top three list for my top five will stick and stay dragon ball z then bleach then naruto it's not shifting anyway top four you know, the, the fourth one kogios more than likely will not move the fifth one it can get changed but it won't get changed currently why is because of my homie Subaru and ReZero starting life in another world from zero. Yes, this anime, another short anime, but still has length to it, still has rewatch value. This anime, one of the greatest animes, Isekai, uh, isekai animes out there ever in the history of anime, ever, guys. Like, when I sit here and I think about how just a regular cat out here he's went to went to the store to buy him stuff some stuff he's heading home from work if i remember correctly and then next thing you know he gets he gets shifted to a world that he wasn't expecting to go and he's here and now he is getting ready to hopefully as he says be able to get these powers and stuff but that does that's not the case he's just another regular cat out here in these in these streets of this other this 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 uh this uh dimensional world here and of course you know he meets uh emilia you know his his heart right but you know i sit here and will continuously and i have to talk about this give me like a minute minute and a half two minutes please guys because the video is almost over this video is going to be like 10 plus minutes long but i get it he loves emilia he fell in love with her the first moment he he laid eyes on her you know he talked about trying to get her to go on a date she didn't because she she's she, you know she amelia is a rookie she's you know, basically a virgin basically she doesn't know anything about dating a guy you know or anything like that you know she's just a regular girl out here who is actually being shunned by plenty plenty villages and stuff like that like that out there in, in the world because of some you know uh witch history and stuff like that right but you know i get it she is a beautiful young lady but guys when i sit here and think of episode 20 i believe it's 20 or 21 when he has the conversation with rim yes rim the twin of ram and god seriously come on like who doesn't like who doesn't like twins right i mean look at them they're they're beautiful right who doesn't like twins come on come on who doesn't like them but what i'm trying to say is is that him and rim in that conversation episode i believe it's 20 or 21 they're on that 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 roof or whatever they're conversating they're actually conversating about their love that they have for each other rim's pouring her heart out to this guy about how he is her hero right he you know she loves this guy they talk guys they talk about running away together he would he would definitely run away with rim and they would just have a happy ever after but instead he tells her yes i love you rim 
I would glad I would gladly run away with you, but I love Emilia more. Dude, are you kidding me? Emilia doesn't even feel you like that, dude. You literally kind of like just being honest, guys. He kind of forced himself on her, not physically, but he literally was kind of stalkerish, in my opinion, towards Emilia. And with that, he doesn't, they don't have that type of uh, intimate bond until, you know, many, 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 many episodes later, right? But what I'm saying is the conversation him and Rim, Rim had in episode 20 or 21, I'm telling you right now, that should be the love story that brings hope and peace to their world. Even in the midst of that Subaru, we know when he dies, you know, when he's out here living this life that he didn't want in the first place, but he's trying to enjoy it. When he dies, he, you know, rewinds and goes back a few days or a few, many, many hours. And he has to start all over from the last checkpoint. If you're playing video games, you know what I'm talking about with a checkpoint. He has to do it all over again, hoping for a better outcome. But what I'm saying is I still am upset to this day from two, three years ago of when they had this conversation they expressed true love to each other but he turns rim down because he has affection towards another another lady who does not have the same love and affection for him and with that i still stand that that in an alternate universe they do run away and they end up having happily ever after but again with that being said guys re-zero is my top fifth favorite anime of all time it's just it's just great it's just dope and i love it so much and uh, of course i'm just patiently waiting for the next season uh i will let you all know that i did record the last several episodes of the past season i just haven't put them out there yet um i'll be looking to do that hopefully in the next roughly month or two or so whichever comes first but i apologize for that but this is my top five guys let me know your thoughts what is your top five you know is it is it any of the top three that i talked about is any of the the, the top five on this list if, if 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 it's not cool great i support you as an anime fan you know you are allowed to have your own list you know per your own uh perspective and you know your love for anime but this is my top five anime currently you know re-zero could always get replaced i doubt co zero Code Co Geass can get replaced at number four, and definitely the top three will not move ever. That's just my thing. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do y'all think of this video, guys? Let's talk about some things below if you feel up to it. And I will hopefully talk to y'all next time with more anime videos, reaction, and review videos to come. Peace, guys.